Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the Pennsylvanian toy collector himself. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing something from Ghost in a Shell. And this is Major from Ghost in a Shell. I don't know her real, actual name besides Major, but that's what I know her as. And she is a pretty tall figure. Oh, sorry, I knocked into the tripod a little bit clumsily today. <laughs> but yeah, she's a tall girl, for certain. But now we're going to do a comparison. Here she is next to the main girl from Armitage, which I'm bad with her name, too. But unlike her, she can stand on her own. And she's the only other android girl I own in Figma form. And finally, here she is next to a Dragon Ball Stars figure. Here she is next to Android 18. Close in on that. Head sculpt, but my figure looks blurry on the camera. Sorry about that. But yeah, she got some decent posability at the knees. I love that. Bends. She can kick out that far, which is pretty good. This knee of hers is a bit tricky to bend. I'm afraid about snapping it. Arms can bend. Pretty good. And these aren't the original guns that came with her. Because I got her used from eBay for 30 bucks, But she does have some bend at the arms, which is pretty cool. Gave her a pistol and a machine gun. That I had in my random weapons accessory bin. But they work for Major pretty good. If I do say so myself. You're probably wondering, where did I get this figure? Like I said, I got this from eBay for 30 bucks. Is she worth adding to your collection of Figmas? If you can't afford the Figma of her, yes, she is worth 30 bucks if you can find her for that much. 30 or 40 bucks. And that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on and rock out.